chilled northern night air is split by dull croaks coming from the swamp. You move closer, a couple of steps. Suddenly, a demon appears from beneath the water with black horns and a body that is woolly and matted. Near the forest's edge, you see a white towel on an old stump. Someone has left a bottle of milk and some piragi. Near these gifts is a birch charter. Peasants from Bigichi village are asking the Leshi to take care of their cattle. You draw up a new charter. Now the Lieshi will be helping peasants from Vilgert. If evil spirits help anyone, they should help your village, not the inhabitants of Bigichi. On a hillside near Kacheva Lake, you see two silhouettes. One is combing the other's long hair. There is something strange in his uneven movements. Something that gives you shivers. It only takes a single step for the demons to notice you. In a blink of an eye, two enemies stand before you.
Gloomy windmill arms creak in the distance, parting the pre-dawn fog. The shadow of an owl passes overhead. It crosses your path, a bad omen, since man's path and man's destiny are as one. Yet, could it be it was trying to point you somewhere? Suddenly, you come upon a swamp and stop at its border. It is dangerous to continue onward. You turn to go back and notice a devil's finger beneath your feet. The spruce branches part, and an old mill stands before you. This place is filled with legends and stories from the surrounding villages. Those who visited this place at dusk, or worse, at night, speak of dark phantoms in the windows of the mill, of sudden gusts of wind and other devilry. It is what they call a bad place. It's a carrier log. It's used to turn the mill. The old wood creaks in the wind. You can climb inside using a log. There is a small hole in the wall. The old windmill is creaking from the cold wind. It is not so often that you see this kind of mill in Cherden Uyezd. It's hard to see anything in the dark gloom of the night. Nevertheless, you feel your eyes getting used to the darkness. The black book may be aiding you. Amidst the thick grass, you spot an old axe, its blade covered with rust. It's obvious the mill is old. Some wood has rotted through, making more windows. You approach and try to open the door. It's closed. The lock is as old as the mill. One good strike with something heavy, and it will break. It's a carrier. It's used to turn the mill. The old you try to clamber up, but your misstep leads to a painful fall. Another attempt, and you are safe inside. Some kind of will has been placed here by the miller. Grindstones are still, but the blades of the mill are turning. This chest is for various tools used at the mill. Nothing interesting.
you study the cabinet. Among various krinkas, old pots, and birch bark containers, you find a sack with silver rubles. It might be of some use to you. You choose to take the money. The miller will hardly miss it. This chest is for various tools used at the mill. Nothing interesting. A broken block of wood is near the wall. It seems to be part of the windmill's mechanism and the reason why the grindstones are standing still. Through a hole in the wall, you see the woods of Chirdin. Expected to see a wretched old man, not a beautiful maiden. Why are you here then? Hmm. Well, what do you want with the windmill then? Haven't you figured it out? Perhaps I was wrong about you. I thought of you to be a strong witch. A master of wit, deduction, and intellect. One endowed with knowledge that others do not possess. I guess not. The windmill is possessed. But is the demon's presence here as spontaneous as it appears to be? I must think about why he's here in the first place. Curses invoke the devil. This piques your interest. Oh, the swearing of mortals is so unsophisticated, and I must admit, I do not like it. But I'm not here because of that. I always have been and always will be here. They summoned me with a blood sacrifice when the mill was built. I'm bound to this place with my death in this world and my birth in the next. Enough, feeble sorceress. It is time to meet your demise. I will bring you into the ever dark realm of shadow and extinguish the candle of your life. And soon you will visit the fright of hell. There is yet to be such a Kaldun who can outmatch the thirteenth brother.
is a legendary artifact. I never gave up before, and I'm not going to now. The 13th brother disappears into a burst of black flame. It seems that the air has changed, and it is easier to breathe. Soon, the Chorts will return and resume their work. The Dark Promise is still upheld. However, it is uncertain when they will start asking for sacrifices again. In any case, this is for the Miller to worry about.